Hey guys, Cosmos here on my Mage account and this is going to be a video on some gem madness. We got the event going on, gem synthesizer, 2nd of August and we can do it. It's, it's very important to look over here in event requirements that the quest is unlimited. So because then, then you can collect as many of these things as you can. So we got level 5, it starts off from level 5. Actually, you know, if you're on your servers, you probably have um, like th there they try to do lower as well but as the server matures uh, it goes up the, re the requirements goes up so if you're playing Warchun, you can see the requirements of for quests go up so now and I remember still there was a time where this was like level 3 even so anyhow it's a level 5 minimum and we got level 5 level 6 level 7 and level 8 giving a huge uh, 1000 soul crystals, 400 whips, but of course making a level 8 is very very difficult. Actually I've never, I've made level 7s but I haven't made level 8s. I think if I would take off my level 7s on my knight um, and, and make them into level 8 that would be possible but then I would make a big mess in my um, in my sockets so <laughs> I don't want to do that even though uh, it's giving really good rewards. So I've opened up a couple of thousand of oh, level 1 to 3 and level 1 to 5 um, packs that I had saved up. So now I got gems which start from over here. I have a whole heap of gems of uh, level 4s. You see a whole bunch of level 1s like 300 here and 400 here. So I opened up, I wrote down the statistics and also thanks for all the guys who sent the stats for um, for opening up those gem packs. I'll publish them as soon as I get time to put all those datas together. But for now let's get cracking and let's go to synthesis first for gems because uh, you gotta make them uh, first as high level as possible. So uh, I'm gonna put them all together. Uh, one note, if you wanna do like really, really perfect gem synthesis event, you kinda also have to take off all the gems from your sockets. But I'm not gonna do that because I also want to have a bit of an easier life. So <laughs> the scorpion is funny from the back. Hold on, if I can catch him going vertically upwards. Yeah, <laughs> there the back is really funny. Anyways, um. Uh, I don't want to take them off, uh, so I, I just want to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm going to ignore the gems that I'm already wearing. And the way I do this here, I always take the marks in the sizable, because then uh, it makes it easier for me. I, I see only the stuff that uh, kind of uh, need, uh, can be synthesized. And of course you need gold, so I have 5 million on me, so that should be enough. And then the way I do it is I press... Uh, the mouse right after this number one and do and I press like 999 on the keyboard because when you do that it'll go directly to the maximum and then one time of course you have to say don't don't bother me anymore so then I just do maximum maximum but here I will stop just for a moment uh, if you remember it's um, just to test that indeed it's it's um, it's an unlimited event so I should be able to collect like six times, I mean six uh, physical attack level five. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So all is good. So I'm going to go back to my synthesis. Actually, I should have done just two for testing purposes. So that's already one level six and, and six level fives, which is cool. There's another seven level fives and two level sixes. So I, I suspect I'm going to be collecting a lot of nice rewards. So that's going to be really, really awesome. Looking forward to those. I might as well have to buy some gem transposer uh, scrolls. So we can do that. First, I want to synthesize everything that's possible. Then I'm going to start on all the conversions. So you guys can check out that as well. As that costs a lot of gold. And I probably don't do it in the most efficient way. Just because I want to finish it like as fast as possible. But let's see. Alright, so everything is synthesized from my bag and there should also be tons of bag space um, which opened up or not not because you got like new level fives and sixes uh, you got rid of some but yeah you got some new ones so not but anyways when you go to convert you see all the gems that you have so that's 
pretty important and and here what I like to do is is I like to pick out uh, and, and I'll tell you in in a in a second which ones and here it does help if you would un, um unsocket your equipment item so this is where it really makes a big benefit um, then you pay less gold in conversion uh, because then like say right now I click on my staff here I got level sixes here for example on my hat I got level fives so of course I'd want to upgrade these so would be good to unsocket them but then I have to remember what gems I had and, and it's a bit of a hassle that way uh, normally I try to have a similar structure of gems so that would be my offense so magic attack then the defenses and the crit um, on, on my mage here I don't put any health at all uh, so it's, it's always the same so and up to here so eight items one two three four five six seven and and also the brooch which is not legendary so i i have on most of them actually i don't have any level four so that's that's good news so i will try to upgrade them as much as possible so let's try so i'm, I'm not like i said i'm not going to unsocket them um, so if you're really really um keen on things unsocket all the gems um, but I'm just gonna not gonna do that so anyhow so first up so you see I look over here and I start with level 1 so I got three level 1 blocks here so then I'm looking if I have a level 1 um, one piece somewhere and I don't I have all our minimum twos got three here as well I got two here so what I could do is I could um, go to my bag and split one of the doubles so for example here the magic attack although that's a bad one to split um, charisma and that's a really good one to split because anyhow I don't need charisma so I'm gonna go to convert I'm gonna convert one of the charismas to block and the other charisma to to where was the other three physical defense over here so that would immediately um, give me two more gems to, to make to level two level three and level two so that's good so i got rid of those level ones i still have three hps here of level one two magic attacks and two physical attacks so i'm gonna toss all the physical attacks to magic that's gonna make four here and i'm stuck with uh, level one hp because there's no other level ones i can merge with merge with so then i go on to level two i got three charismas so i need one level here i got magic defense will go to charisma i got two blocks two health so the blocks will go to health i got three crits three physical attacks now physical attacks I don't need as such crits I always need so actually all of these are gonna go to crit and that let, let's synthesize those so another twos and threes it's good so the list should go down um, it's okay to have something left over you can always use them in the next next event when it happens all right so I have two crits of level two I got one magic attack and I don't have I think any other level twos yeah I'm just watching it carefully so those are stuck as well because you need four of course so now attention goes to level threes one charisma will go to block that's four I got two health one crit and one magic attack that's not ideal got two physical defense so those will go to physical defense I'm gonna synthesize to see what's left another level two level fours were done good um, all right I got one crit here one magic I got three magic defense so crit is gonna go there and a magic attack is stuck until next time so I got these are stuck got level twos which are stuck and I got level threes which is this one which is stuck so now attention goes to level fours and I know that on my sockets I don't have a level four so um, we can 
we don't have to look at the sockets yet so I got two HP and one crit and one uh, I'm deaf here and three so the one crit could go to physical defense but anyhow I know I don't want the, uh, the health so those will go to magic attack making it four here I got one crit and one magic defense Oh, I got three physical attacks that's not good at all though that's gonna have to unfortunately um, no actually that's gonna cost too much I'm gonna move one of the magic defense to physical attack synthesize that making it a little bit cheaper all right so now I got one crit left here and three physical attack uh, physical defense so that's gonna go there so so far I've spent less than less than a million gold so it's not much at all so I got the gems which are stuck I wish I could hide them but there is no way um, so those are good level fours are they all gone yeah oh, they're all gone which is amazing so now attention goes to level five so level five so I got three blocks and one HP one HP goes to block that's 180,000 conversion there now magic defense 2, physical defense 2 and um, now I will actually and charisma 3 though that's not good at all so one of the magic attack is gonna go to charisma and I can I can synthesize two level 6's alright so the list has gotten much much smaller now I got two magic defenses for sure I'm wearing something like magic defense uh, level 5 I got two physical defenses and this is not a really good scenario because I know I'm wearing uh, one so I wish I had three to make it a level 6 at the same time I am uh, I, ha I do have level 6s so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert um, this match defense to physical defense making it level 4 synthesizing a level 6 gem so unfortunately I can't make any of the um, any of the gems I'm wearing into level 6 the ones which are level 5 because uh, I don't have any level 5's left but I got a whole heap of level 6's um, now I'm gonna I have a choice now or I can make make it so that I wear all level 6's which is cool or I can make some level 7's which is fun so let's do that definitely physical attack I don't need so that's gonna go to magic attack you know I you guys know me I love offense so that's gonna go to magic attack charisma I don't need block I don't need health I don't need as well um, I could make one crit level 7 here so let's say um, the blocks can go to crit now I'm left with a bunch of uh, charismas and health I don't want so much magic defense so let's unsocket something let's see I am wearing hmm what could I get rid of how many I have one for magic attack so let's get those to level 7 if possible I have one here on the hat but I'll, I'll already make a seven now two three actually I have a heap of level sixes that that could go um, higher I want I'm gonna remove one on the on the hat make it into oh darn I need to split it first I'm gonna put it together with the career I want to make those charismas um, level higher I'm actually gonna convert from magic attack back to charisma because it's cheaper because if, if you would convert the three charismas is a million so I'm gonna convert the magic attack to charisma I'm gonna synthesize hopefully I can do no I don't have actually level 7 charisma so let's go to the shop and buy where is it is in the specials and I'm looking for level 7 charisma got crit HP physical magic attack block 
probably the next page up there it is level 7 300 balance so that goes VIP gifts good all right gonna double click on the trans uh, transposer formula so I learned that ability so now I can do a level 7 charisma and a level 7 magic defense go back to conversion convert the level 7 charisma into a magic attack so now I got two now now it's interesting because if I could actually go for a level 8 that, that could be kind of cool or I can just improve all my gems from level because I have a whole bunch of level fives. I could make them into level sixes. Um, but let's let's make one level if I can. Um, oh, I don't have a level seven crit apparently as well because that didn't pop up. So let's buy that transposer formula as well. Level seven crit transposer. Now, if you are uh, a free player or if you have limited balance, instead of buying the transposer formulas like I'm doing here, uh, you can just um, buy one of the most popular one that you use. Like uh, for mages, that will be magic attack. For knights and archers, that will be physical attack. And then convert all your gems into that one and, uh, and synthesize there. Uh, that way, you don't spend balance, but you spend a lot more gold. Uh, but it's an alternative so all right level 7 crit although I do like that crit a lot um, actually yeah I, I like it so much I don't want to convert it so I'm gonna convert the um, the HP into MDEF synthesize that to level 7 which I don't have as well back to special level 7 MDEF right here This is like my biggest uh, gem synthesis event, I think, f for this character. All right, synthesize level seven. Now the MDF gets converted to magic attack, and for that three is enough. For level eight, for sure, I don't have, because I've never done that. So I'm gonna buy the transposer for level eight magic attack where is it there it is that's already 600 balance that one is more expensive synthesize gems now my first level 8 gem magic attack 350 versus 280 um, now this is this I'm doing this just for 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 the video and also to kind of just because it's kind of cool um, it would be more efficient if I make all my gems level 7 first instead of making uh, the level 7s into level 8 because the gem events will repeat again and you can even though the level 8 reward is, is cool in, in the hot events you can claim it again later it's not that big of a deal uh, but it's fun and it's it's good to solidify kind of one really powerful one. So it's funny it's it requires only 600 gold. It's gonna make that and it's gonna be my first level eight. Let's socket it straight away and uh, just for for uh, kind of um, fun reasons, I'm gonna put it on the weapon because I think the best gem should be on the weapon. Uh, is this is just for aesthetic reasons, no other reason. For that, on my helmet, which I uh, removed the gem, I'm going to put uh, the level 7 that was there. Also on the weapon, I'm going to get rid of the crit 6. I'm going to put a level 7 on that. Although it doesn't, of course, matter on which item you put it. Uh, but on the helmet, I can put the level 6. Now, uh, for the physical defenses, I can put those that I just made. Um, let's see, everywhere we can put the level 6 gems physical defense is of course very good for a mage to have because archers and knights are of course very dangerous while your magic defense is high by definition so you can balance it out so you see now with with uh, much worse magic defense gems I have now um, physical defense 18,000 but magic defense 23 that's because my magic attack is so high 
it's giving me magic defense as well so let's go back and see what's left now i got three physical um defense gems level five which is really cool one crit but i'm actually not gonna convert this crit because for sure i'm wearing uh, somewhere um a level five and let's check if there is a physical defense and i can convert it directly yep on my ring here i got a level five i'm gonna take that off i got four now so that's like I'm talking aloud all the thinking that I usually do uh, with these things. So let's get back to the ring and put a level 6 physical defense there, leaving me with almost no gems. I got the, the level 1s, which uh, I can't get rid of. There are 3. I got 3 level 2s. I got 1 level 3s and 1 level 5. And of course, with these, you can't make any more formulas because you need minimum of 4. I could remove some gems, uh, some people do that, like I said, from, from sockets. I could remove three of the same and make like, I could remove three of these level sixes and make a level seven. It's got, it makes a kind of, and put in there like level twos and level threes temporarily. Some people do that to that extent to, to, to just get as many of the rewards from hot events as possible. But I don't see too much a point of that because anyhow you'll get those rewards when you again synthesize on the next event so um, it's up to you guys but this I'm gonna stop here because there's no more formulas you can do with these uh, I'm gonna stop here I'm gonna go back to the city and put um, my blitz on the catacombs because that'll give me some more gems uh, and normally I should have of course finished this first before doing the the jam synthesis um, like but I wanted to record a video and um, kind of shut off the, the game so that's why I'm gonna do like this and whatever I get from there for sure I get level ones and level two so maybe I can make another level five but probably not uh, um, so anyhow so catacombs goes there and now we can go to the to the very nice thing. Oh, there's a big spender event there. So for whatever balance I spent, so one and a half thousand so far, I can collect that reward. Um, later, I'll do some probably jewel hunts, um, probably tomorrow, and maybe bring bring it up to two thousand or maybe five thousand. Grab that big big spenders generally. If you are a Balen user. Uh, definitely make use of the big spender events because you get a lot more like you see for example here if you sp spend 5000 of course you get these rewards but you also get these and these but also uh, from 2000 to 5000 that's 3000 balance if you spend 3000 balance you get pretty much 3000 balance back roughly speaking so that's a really good deal so make use of the big spender events when they're on spend your balance there um to to yeah to, to get let's say more in return for what you're investing um now for the gem synthesizer event um still got another day to go so if i get somehow more gems i'll, I'll make maybe another level five or so of course also these gem packs i'm gonna get so in there i could get level fours and level fives which i can further make into level um six and level fives so i could i will probably until one more day there I'll probably make a couple of more synthesis uh, but for now let's collect rewards I can actually collect all four levels which is kind of cool um, and we're gonna get mount training whips and soul crystals so just for fun let's have a look I have right now 3366 mount training whips so you can remember that maybe or, or just come back in the video if you want to see the number again so I'm curious on how much that will go. I'm just gonna write down on on the sign here for me, three three six six whips. All right, and for soul crystals, I got three thousand two hundred sixty four. So that's what what's left after the soul crystal uh, soul crystal engraving event, uh, which happened not so long ago. So now I'm going to go to the hot events and collect all those rewards. So one level eight, I think. So that's already 1000 um, soul crystals and 400 whips. Of course, 10 more gem packs, which is kind of cool. So one of those. Awesome. How many level sevens? One, two, 
three, four, four level sevens. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 19 level of 6 is that that's a lot more than I thought and I'll probably if 19 of these and a lot more of level 5s that's 20 That's 40. That's 14. So that's 14, 14. That's 54. 54 <laughs> level fives. So that's a lot. Now let's go back to the stables. 9,066 whips. So actually, I got 5,700 whips, which is awesome. Let's go to the soul engraving and check that out. 18,814. So I got 15,550 soul crystals. And you can see my bag it got filled up from all the. Um, basically, it, it got filled up when it was completely blank because all the gems were used up. So now it got filled up with all these whips and, and soul crystals third page now open still um, but the mo now I have no gems whatsoever like so now uh, in, the, in the next week when I get more gems gems take about half a page roughly speaking um, of space so I'm gonna come up to half a page here uh, so that's gonna fill up my bags a lot and if it if the soul uh, crystal event and the whip event didn't happen before I wouldn't even be able to do this because I wouldn't have any space so uh, it's good that I spent everything there uh, on my night he'll probably have a problem with bag space that there I'm a little bit worried I'll check it out afterwards so that's so that's that my bell rating also went up um, I don't but it's not a huge amount though uh, but it did go up uh, now I'm at hundred one thousand and a half but without any Academy uh, so so that's that's good stuff um, and of course without me down and so forth you guys know the drill um, and that's I think uh, and oh here I got a hundred and twenty seven more one to five jam packs that that's actually a lot so I'm gonna open them up uh, open them up write the statistics for that as well um, and then I'll synthesize more so I can actually get more rewards so I'll do that later on uh, so I did the bulk of it though and um, that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video please do click on like and subscribe below that uh, that's always good and helps also is awesome when you guys share with friends on Facebook Google Plus and Twitter uh, bookmark my gaming page if you haven't already dollygames.com all the links are in the description and that's it you guys thanks for watching and have a very nice day